Okay, well, you're looking at a typical rebuild, if you want to just come with me. Um, this, is a, this is a good example of, um, of the kind of work that we have to do to come back from what we call contractor fraud. Okay, so this house, uh, this is an open work site. This house used to have all of the interior walls installed. As you can see, it's got the ceiling installed already, but unfortunately, these materials have been um, have been covered have covered up the original structure of the house, which is faulty. So what happened was this contractor just took away these money, covered up bad wood, covered up rotting wood, which you can see in the bathroom, especially. But if you look up in the ceiling, um, you can see all the rotten and failing you know structure in the house. A lot of termite damage, a lot of flood damage that hasn't been mitigated. And so what we've got is wood that looks like this that makes up the interior walls of this house. So this is how this gentleman thought he could get away with, um, in, with rebuilding this house. He thought he would just be able to cover it up, right? This is a new sheetrock that this woman paid good money for covering up this incredibly bad foundation. And what we have to do now is come in, fix this foundation, and then spend all the money again to do the secondary work so that this house um, can be structurally sound. We're gonna have to tear out all of the ceilings and all of the remaining interior walls, including these walls in this room here. Something moved you to stay this long. New Orleans is an amazing, magical city. You know, there's a reason why there's a song called Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans. If, you, if you've spent any time here, if you've ever had the privilege or the pleasure of even visiting, never mind living here, you know this, ha this, this city has a magical hold on people. And um, it's certainly got its hooks into me, and um, I'm very happy here. I love uh, the people that I've met. I love the people I've had the privilege and pleasure of working with and serving. I have no intention of leaving anytime soon. And there's so much to do, right? There remains a great deal of work. And that is the other thing. It's just that, you know, when I first got here and saw the need, I thought, well, I'll stay until it's done. <laughs> We're nowhere near being done.